You know, guys, something about this month that I really got to say is, um, I thought that October was going to be a really good, like, month for music, but November is shaping up to be the best month of the year for music, and we're pretty much just now getting into it. But yeah, earlier this year, I really thought that a lot of my favorite albums of the year were pretty set in stone, pretty kind of definitive, finalized. I, I was wrong. There's been so many great albums that have come out in October and in November, and man... I this is just another great album. That brings us to Automaton's new album entitled Talos. And I genuinely hope that I am pronouncing that right because uh, it's Greek. This is by far one of the most terrifying, mortifying, and disgustingly caked albums that I have heard this entire year. And it's kind of amazing. <laughs> All right, so Automaton was formed in 2011 in Athens, Greece. They're obviously a Greek band, and they are a psychedelic doom metal band. And boy, this is a 58-minute album, and it's only eight tracks. Now, that may be pretty normal for a doom metal band, but <laughs> this isn't a normal album at all. I feel blessed. I mean, I I check out a lot of releases. I am part of some groups that recommend music, and I check out these things, and I am overflowing with good music to review. And there has been some bad ones. There has been some albums that I am going to give my personal thoughts on that I'm not going to dig this month, I would assume. But at the same time, like, there's been so many good releases so far. And Automaton's Talos, I hope I'm saying that right, is truthfully one of the most mortifyingly horrific albums that I have heard all year round. This is a doom metal album that really just focuses on that psychedelic, eerie feel, but the doom metal is so caked, it's so distorted, it's so fuzzy. The guitars are very psychedelic, so spaced out, funked out, and the drums are just so layered and just banging in this fuzzy, distorted overlay. It's, God, it's disgusting. And in the best way possible, literally the best way possible, do not mistake what I'm saying. Horrific, disgusting, mortifying, honestly, for a for an album like this, for a band like this, that gets two thumbs up from me. And then you get the vocals. What are these? What are the vocals? What what are these distorted, fuzzy, just like strange, eerie, just like horrifically just manipulated vocals that are like not on pitch at all, but in the best way possible? I mean, that was so many things about this album in the best way possible. And it is so just this like cacophony of sound. It sounds like an amalgamation. It almost at times sounds a bit noise metal and I know it's not. There's no noise metal or noise rock influence as far as I know. It's just the fact that you take doom metal and then you take the um, element of the psychedelic and you merge the two together and you get this tapestry that is just wonderfully assembled and pretty much brutal. Like I said, this album takes its time. 58 minutes, 8 tracks long. It's a doom metal album. I mean, once hey, if, if you want to know doom metal albums that take their time, check out Bell Witch's Mirror Reaper. Uh, but anyways, uh, like, I, I swear I'll show that on camera anytime I get. Um, literally, it takes such great pains in making sure every second is interesting. That is one thing that uh, can really set apart, in my personal opinion, doom metal albums that are very mediocre and very run-of-the-mill, and doom metal albums that are interesting, that have something to offer, and that is, can they, if they're wanting to go for those longer song links, and by virtue of being a doom metal band, you're kind of doing that already, if you're willing to venture off into some like in insane links, like the first track, 11 minutes and 17 seconds long, and it's fantastic. Um, you got to be able to fill out that time with interesting ideas and not just repeat yourself over and over, put interesting things in, make things interesting. You can't just go on and on doing the same thing and expect it to work out well. That's my opinion. And boy, this is a concept album. So I'm just going to read straight from the thing because this isn't something that I was particularly like um, 
well acquainted with. I wasn't really sure about this, but it says, What if Talos, the mythical metal giant of Crete and archetype automaton, awakens in the modern era to fight injustice and protect the innocent? This is the narrative of Automaton's second full-length release. So, uh, and it's going to be coming out on Sound Effect Records, but I think that's an interesting idea. I've always enjoyed mythology. I've always enjoyed things that dabble in that kind of feel. I mean, Air is one of my favorite bands, and, well, they are my favorite band, and uh, a lot of their earlier material dealt with myth mythological stuff, and I enjoy mythos. I enjoy Greek stuff, I en especially Greek mythology. I think it's very neat, so good on them for having a concept. I like concepts and albums, and I think this came off great, especially considering the music. It, it fits so well. And don't mistake me for saying that this is just like a doom metal album or a psychedelic album. There's a lot of facets. Like I said, it sounds noise metal at times. It has sludge influences, which most psychedelic things do for the most part. It has sometimes black metal influences. It has drone mixed in. It has that noise element. It has the doom metal element. It, it, it's just so sluggishly pounding and trudging through muckish, just cloudy, heavy, groovy groovy guitars. The guitars really do lick out some dark melodies, some nice melodies, some interesting melodies, and it's sometimes, I wouldn't call it catchy, but I would definitely say that it is interesting at least. It's fun, and if you want any more proof that these past two months have been very good for music, I'm very picky with my doom metal. I am very picky with bands that dabble in all of these genres, and yet... Heck, even doom metal can't fail this month, evidently. Bottom line, these are eight tracks of just pounding doom metal with a lot of instrumentation and a lot of technicality and a lot of influences, and it's just a fun listen. It's almost an hour's worth, so you're going to have to set aside some time, but in my personal opinion, I don't feel like it overstates its welcome. I think that if you're going to listen to a doom metal album and you're expecting the length of like a grindcore album, if you're expecting it to be like 12 or 13 minutes, you're probably looking at it the wrong way. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be giving this album another 9 out of 10. Boy, that's a lot of 9 out of 10s this month. I will talk to you guys next time. What'd you think of this album? If you've heard it, be sure to comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. See you guys next time. My name is Jay Morris, Serve You Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.